All right, YouTube land, uh, we're back with another video. Today we've got a Galaxy 44 DX44V, uh, old style radio, uh, old school DX44V sent in by Mr. Lee. Uh, Lee originally, Mr. Lee originally sent me in a uh, Cobra 29 XLR that he was gonna have built up. We were gonna do the full build to it. And um, unfortunately mid build, the audio transformer went out and then we replaced that and then uh, Yesterday, I had the radio finished. I was about to post the video and the channel selector uh, uh, segment started going out on it. So, um, uh, you know, it's a gamble. Anytime you send in a radio that's 40 years old, um, you know, even if you recap them and do everything, that it's going to be worthy of... Uh, and this is a really nice, really nice 29 XLR. It's a shame that it started going to pieces. So, he had traded this radio... Uh, for the work basically so what, what we decided to do we we would just build this one and uh, so we replaced uh, his blue LED with a red LED and um, I'd already done some of the work on this tra on the transmit of this radio because I think actually I, I was gonna try to maybe keep it and use it for a bench radio so we got it pretty cleaned up and everything already I've just been kind of going through the stages there and and checking it uh, we'll just kind of show you um, Spectrum analyzer, two megahertz per division. Now, if I roll in the res, uh, uh, resolution bandwidth uh, into 30 kilohertz, we can see down here. This used to be like most galaxies, way up, and uh, we've got it tuned in and kind of knocked down. Uh, running about uh, with a tone, we're running about 28 and a half watts uh, p p power. So, anyway. Um, that's what we got going on with this thing. Uh, it's pretty much ready to go transmit wise. We're going to go ahead and get in there and do our receive upgrades and uh, get her on a sign ed meter and all that and uh, and uh, check signal noise and get it uh, tuned up on the receive side and uh, this thing will be ready to go and uh, Mr. Lee will have him a really nice Galaxy DX44. So we'll be back uh, after we get the uh, once we get the uh, receive test hooked up here and uh we'll get that hooked up and then and we'll be right back thanks okay and we're back and uh we've got her hooked up to the sign ed test here and uh we're at 12 db of sign ed bouncing right in at 100 microvolts which is really uh the about the standard uh if you can do that uh you know at 12 db uh with 100 microvolts or less that's, that's not shabby at all the receive on this thing is pretty good falling in at 105 uh, negative 105 db right there so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to do these upgrades on, on the receive and uh we'll be back we'll recheck this thing and we'll just see how sensitive uh uh you know how good we can get the uh, signal to noise and, and and what we can do to this thing so uh we'll be back uh, and we've done the receive upgrades and we're at the uh still at 12 db of Synad, but now we're only at uh, 46 microvolts to get there. So, um, you know, nothing's changed. We didn't change any settings on the radio or anything. Still at negative 106. So that's a huge improvement. Uh, what we're going to do to demonstrate that is we're going to bring the sensitivity down. To where it starts falling out and we're still at 1 db at negative 124 so that gives you a little bit of an idea uh what we've done uh, as far as received now what this amounts to uh is a lower noise floor and you be able to hear things that other people simply can't and this has been proven uh, there's several guys that uh, I've done this for, or lots of guys I've done this for, and they all say the same thing. Uh, um, they get accused of ghost talking quite a bit. They, one guy was even uh, shooting a little DX the other day, and nobody else could hear the DX. So it was kind of funny. So uh, you guys that are doing this, uh, that have these receive upgrades, shoot you a video gate uh, when it happens. When somebody's accusing you of uh, ghost talking, shoot you a video gate. Get proof, because uh, I have a lot of people that just, you know, non-believers, which they have to see to believe, which is fine. But uh, anyway, uh, so we're pretty much done uh, here with this radio. Uh, 
I'm going to get it back together and then we'll do an overview. I'll be back. All right, and we're back with the Galaxy 44V. And this time, we don't just have the Galaxy. We've got it hooked up to this uh, little Messenger V2. Uh, it's a brand new amp. It's new old stock. And yes, it's for sale. But we've got it hooked up like this to prove a point. Because everybody says, oh man, to have swing, you've got to be moving on a on a bird meter with no PEP kit. PEP don't mean anything. Folks, I hate to break it to you, but peak power, um, I'm sorry, AM mode, AM SS and SSB, single sideband, is measured by PEP. You can take those big average watts and shove them. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. All this big bad swinging on an average meter, unless you're in a key down competition, and it still don't matter then, uh, if you know how to operate your equipment, uh, you know, I'll cut that shit just play them off. All this big bad KM100 swinging to 500 bird or whatever. That's that's junk. That's shit. It, 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 I hate to break it to you, um, but I'm being totally honest with you uh, here. So uh, uh, you can ask Bird. The average, uh, the the non PP setting is called the uh, continuous wave or the continuous power setting. Um, basically what it looks like make sure this amps off we got a 50 watt slug radio's key in about a watt and three quarters let me turn that peak kit off hello one 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 audio check 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 one 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 check check listening through the kenwood here hello radio one 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 oh my god it ain't hardly moving but Listen to that. Now, I promise you, you take this radio, you put it in a vehicle, you go two or three blocks down the road, it's going to sound just like that. You know, on a good clear day, you get a mile down the road, it's going to sound just like that. Now, when I preach four to one, that's with a one kilohertz tone going into the radio when I tune the radio. That has nothing to do with voices. Some people's voices drive radios harder. So if it's King One, with my voice on the PP side, it's going to show about seven and a half, eight watts. Uh, PEP power with my voice. Now your voice is different. Somebody else's voice is different. Somebody else's voice that might only show three watts peak, four watts peak. Different voices drive things harder. But the radio is properly tuned. And so we can show you that by going to everything's properly tuned by going to a 500 watt slug. We're going to turn this amp on. We're going to leave the dead key where we were. Got a 45 watt dead key. Got 500 watt slug. Hello, one 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 one. Audio check 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 check. One one one. Okay, I'm sorry about the echo. Let me turn that off. Hello, one 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 one. Audio check check. 50 watts, 50 watts, 50 watts, 50 watts. Okay, that's what you're doing. Now, if I hit the PEP button, roll of thumb, 50 watts should equal about 200. Hello, audio, one, 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 center scale. Okay, my voice drives it harder, but if we were to put a one kilohertz tone on there, it'd be dead nuts on. Not to mention, you got about a 5% plus or minus, uh, you know, with the meter. The meter's not 100% accurate, no meter is, but uh, no slug. Actually, it's the, more the slug than it is the uh, bird meter. But anyway, uh, just want to cover that real quick. Uh, you have good modulation. You ain't got to have none of that peak swing crap. And it's actually uh, peak swinging pretty good. You know, it's uh, it's getting with the program. A uh, little box is getting with the program. I can't remember if it's got uh, 1446s or or whatever. But we don't have no swing kits in this radio. Uh, that This radio... If this radio had a swing kit, you'd sound like crap. You couldn't talk to somebody... Uh, you'd be over modulated and uh, that's why I keep trying to tell people all these NPC mods are junk swing kits are junk You don't need all that crap if you got somebody that knows how to set it up properly uh, You know and you have to tune with the microphone that the customer is going to be using uh, All that other shit's just irrelevant. So anyway, we're gonna get out of here. Y'all be safe be careful and be kind We'll catch you next time and I'm gone bump bump